Welcome back students. Today I'll be giving certain tips and advices for chapters like production, laws of returns, revenue and cost, demand, supply. From the chapter of demand, you'll do law of demand, assumptions of law of demand, very easy. Then you have very important topics like extension of demand and increase in demand along with diagram. Contraction of demand and decrease in demand along with diagram. Reasons behind the downward slope of the demand curve or you can be given reasons behind the law of demand. Same answer. Same answer. Reasons behind the law of demand or reasons behind the downward slope of the demand curve. Exceptions to law of demand. Even short question can come from that. Okay, this is from demand chapter. From supply chapter, similar topics you will do. Okay, from demand chapter also factors determining demand. Some specific factors can be given in the question to write the answers to those specific factors determining demand. Now from supply chapter, similar topics like law of supply, assumptions of law of supply. Why does the law of why does uh, the supply curve slope upward? Reasons behind the positive slope of the supply curve. Then exceptions to law of supply, mainly two exceptions. That is backward bending labor supply curve and the vertical labor supply uh, vertical supply curve for antiques, curio articles and rare goods. Then you have factor determining supply, extension of supply, increase in supply along with diagram, contraction of supply, decrease in supply along with diagram. These, okay, supply in different time periods, like very short period, that market period, supply curve vertical. Short period, supply curve steep upward sloping. Long period, supply curve flat, gentle sloped upward sloping. These. So from demand and supply chapter, you do these topics mainly. From production, laws of returns. Some short questions are probable. What is production function? Distinguish between short run and long run. Distinguish between short run production function and long run production function. Then... That's a very, very important topic from this chapter. State the law of variable proportions, that is laws of returns to a variable factor. Then the explanation of the three stages of production in the short run, along with the diagram. Mind it, if this question comes, then even if, if it is not specified in the question, even if it is not specified in the question, still you have to give the complete diagram, TP, AP, MP. Because... If it's six marks question, then in the diagram, two marks will be there. Okay. Now, using this diagram, another question can be given. Like, relationship between AP and MP. Relationship between TP and MP. These can be given. Okay. <clears throat> in this chapter, production, laws of returns, another question can come, which is distinguish between Returns to a variable factor and returns to scale. Okay. Now from revenue. TR, AR, MR. TR, total revenue is equal to price into quantity. Average revenue, AR is equal to TR by Q. That is P into Q by Q. That means AR is equal to P always in any form of market. Then MR. MR is a change in the total revenue with respect to output. Now how we calculate this AR no need of calculation if the price is given ar is always equal to p ar is always equal to price tr how to calculate p into q always price into quantity mr how to calculate marginal revenue change in the tr at each level of output that is mr how to calculate mr now nature of tr ar and mr under perfect competition very important topic nature of tr ar and mr in monopoly and monopolistic competition now here there's a question like uh, what is the difference in the nature of ar and mr curves under monopoly and monopolistic competition in case of monopoly ar and mr curves are inelastic that means steeper in case of monopolistic competition ar and mr curves are flatter gentle slope that is elastic the reasons you have to write now from cost chapter cost part Firstly, the theoretical cost concepts, which can come as a short question. Accounting cost or business cost or money cost or explicit cost. Then implicit cost. 
opportunity cost, private cost, social cost, all these. Then now we come to the analytical analytical parts, that is the graphical parts. TFC, TVC, TC. The nature of these curves, why the reason. Then AFC, AVC, AC. Now particularly can be given, explain the nature of AFC curve. The shape, rectangular hyperbola, the reason. Explain the shape of the AVC curve, U-shape, the reason. Explain the shape of MC curve, the reason, along with the diagram. Explain the shape and the derivation of the short-run average cost curve, along with diagram, you have to explain. Now, from this part, not only this graphical part, but also numerical sum is very much probable. Now, for those numerical sums based on cost, you need to remember all those guidelines, like uh, when output is zero, then TVC is zero, TC is equal to TFC, then how to calculate MC marginal cost is the change in the total cost with respect to output. Then AC is equal to AFC plus AVC. AC is equal to TC by Q. AFC is equal to TFC by Q. AVC is equal to TVC by Q. All these. Okay. From this is all, all from the cost part. Okay. Production, laws of returns. Then cost and revenue, demand, supply. We have done this today. Thank you.